this is uh, this is Modi, and uh, in, a, in an artistic rendering, and I'm sort of looking to the back and giving thumbs up and saying, please let Modi come in. We have three Modis here right now. So what, what you're seeing is, I think, aside from 1 a.m. finishes for probably the last month, the last 72 hours, I think, our engineering team is yet to sleep. <laughs> and last night, our head of engineering, uh, Enrique Alfaro, looked at me quite seriously and said, any chance of delaying a week? <laughs> uh, which is why we're moving a little gingerly uh, as we come down to the front of the stage here. So there are two two movies, one on either side. Just what we'll let you say is we have a booth that is uh, in the main showroom here, and we're going to take the robots out there. You'll be able to see them and interact. We also have a hospitality suite, so if there's any more private uh, meetings that we need to make, then we should, uh, we should take those there. But what you're seeing here is Moby balancing on what is about an 8-inch diameter ball. Um, You'll be able, some of you will be able to pick out the vision that you see at the front, that you can see connect at the top. Um, and there are a few really critical things here. Because this is a, an eight designed for HRI, we, had, we worked very closely with Manuela Veloso. And unfortunately, Manuela couldn't be here today. And we, and we asked Manuela, who runs the HRI lab at CMU, we said, what are the two most critical things for you that you require on this robot? for you to be able to take it to CMU and use in your HRI work. And she said, it's got to be safe. And my biggest fear with Bulbot is that it isn't safe. And so I want to address that because last night we filed a patent for what we believe is not only unique, but truly a fantastic safety mechanism that allows this robot to um, dynamically deploy safety legs in a fraction of a second without power and do so through either over tilting so if it gets pushed it will instantly address itself or through the rather ugly emergency stop button on the top of the uh, on the top of the tablet so I know these guys are probably a little fragile maybe we deploy those legs and and I got to work so you see that? It's instant. So we deploy, and what's happened now is the robot essentially is shut down, and in those legs, which deploy, say, we retract with power, but we deploy without power. And this is really fantastic. So that, when we think about the metaphor of Rosie Jetson, we look about first how she moves and how she interacts. One of the reasons why, for us, it's been really critical to think about human-robot interactions and, and hiring HRI scientists and why moving on something like a ball that allows us to be really compliant in complex environments is the reason why we've pursued this particular platform. Because this will be the platform that we as a business look to move forward on and look to develop and enhance in a number of different consumer environments. The last thing from me is a shout out to all the engineers who have not slept for about the last two months.